The Dreamliner Boeing 787 is expected to land in India at the end of this month. Air India is expected to take the deliveries. Uh, it has been much awaited since 2008. We have with us PR Sanjay who will take us through the implications of the Dreamliner landing in India. So Sanjay, how important is Boeing 787 for Air India? Will it uh, be a lifeline for the sagging fortunes of the beleaguered airline? Uh, thanks Krishna. Uh, Air India has been waiting for uh, Dreamliner since September 2008. Uh, it, an original delivery was starting September 2008 to 2011. And uh, due to various production problems and design problems, Boeing couldn't uh, deliver in a time. And Dreamliner was very much part of a turnaround plan uh, of Air India, uh, which has already made uh, you know huge losses, at least 20,000 crores in five fiscals and it has got a debt of 40,777 uh, crore of debt. So, you know, Dreamliner was very much part of, uh, you know, it was supposed to act as a lifeline for Air India, but, uh, you know, it got delayed. And finally, after, uh, you know, uh, various issues, various issues being sorted out, now Cabinet uh, Committee uh, has given a go-ahead on 3rd August uh, to uh, take the delivery of uh, Dreamliner. So, you know, it is an important even in the uh, life of Air India, uh, which is trying to stay afloat. And uh, they think that with the uh, induction of Dreamliner, they will uh, uh, they can turn around certain loss-making routes uh, into profitable one because you know this is it, they claim that this is at least 20% cheaper on fuel jet fuel cost. So and it is like one of the more, uh, uh, aircraft which is built of composite uh, material. So 50% of the total plane is made of composite material. So you know the weight of the plane itself is less and it can actually uh, you know fly, fly uh, uh, you know one stop uh, to uh, Melbourne, Sydney or to US as well. So it is an apt, it is a suitable aircraft for any airline and the first uh, customer for this was all Nippon Air, uh, Airways of Japan. Now the second is going to be Air India. So Sandra, you just pointed out that Air India is sitting on losses worth 40,000 crore which is humongous. But will this Boeing 787 Dreamliner be able to help the airline become profitable in the coming quarters? That's a good question. You know, the same similar kind of uh, you know uh, euphoria was there when they were actually taking word liners, which is uh, Boeing 777s. But actually, 777s are grounded now. Uh, three years they, uh, ago, they took the you know uh, Dreamliners, and they was actually started non-stop America, India, America route, but it failed. And if to answer to your question whether it will, you know, bring Air India back to, you know, profitability, uh, no, I don't think so. Al you know, Dreamland alone can't do, uh, you know, uh, uh, pro that profitability stuff, but they will have to add to more. But, you know, in the, the key point here is they think that, you know, immediately to, uh, 787, this Dreamliner will replace the loss-making routes which is run with kind of a triple service and other planes. So ideally you want a 787 into this particular route and you're flying because you have no option but you're flying a, three, a 330 or a triple seven or a, a, even a smaller jet. So now you get a better machine onto the in a particular route. Now if you try hard and to get all things right you can make uh, you know carrier uh, those routes back back into profitability and ca uh, cost cutting and other various measures can bring uh, can uh, turn it turn the air India around to black. So as you pointed out, it seems to be economical to have a Dreamliner for Air India given that it will Im improve efficiency on certain mm -hmm. routes. Are there any setbacks to Air India because of this? Uh, if you can shed some light on that. Of course, you know, it's an interesting question. See, uh, you know, there is setbacks as, uh, also and there is some natural fallout in, uh, for, which is positive for Air India. Hey, the, the positive things are like this. You know, you've been waiting since September 2008. So Boeing has finally agreed a compensation package. Uh, at one point of time, a civil aviation ministry said it is $1 billion, but in Air India is denying it, that number. And at one point of time, Air India seemed, then Air India seemed, the Arabin Jadav said, Air India is asking for $700 million compensation package. But even Ministry of Civil Aviation or Air India officials are not giving any numbers to us. But we learned that, uh, you know, Boeing has agreed for a three-way compensation package, including some credit memos, some concessions, as well as some cash compensation. So uh, for this delay, they got some money. One is that, and then another fallout setback is that the moment 787s are coming, the triple sevens, the world liners are going out. That means once the once dream liners are in, world liners are out. They are actually planning to uh, sell five of the dream uh, world liners, that is triple sevens, to some airlines. They actually they try to sell uh, lease back uh, those planes, but they fail. 
So uh, to sum up, uh, Dreamliners, uh, inducting Dreamliners is going to be a historic moment for Air India. But will it revive their fortunes? You will have, have to wait and watch because they will have to you know, turn around all this loss making profit uh, routes into profitable one and they will have to do a lot of cost cutting measures. They will have to take a shed lot of you know, uh, manpower from it and they will have to do a proper marketing uh, to get uh, these planes to a profitable, to make chart out of profitable course. So as uh, PR Sanjay pointed out that it will be economical for Air India to get the Dreamliners which will be coming at the end of this month but we need to wait and watch and see in the coming quarter how the profitability, operational profitability pans out. That is all for today. Do log on to livemint.com to get more updates.